Hi, I'm Erin Monda with the TMC Newsroom. Here are a few Apple TV updates. Apple TV is going to change the whole game and the cost to consumers. Big cable companies like Cox and Comcast had better be shaking in their boots. The newest version of Apple TV is $130 cheaper than its predecessor. In the past, Apple had used Intel microprocessors for its Apple TV devices. But since Apple is now using its own A4 processors, production costs, and therefore product costs, are more affordable for customers. And that's not all that's going to steer towards customers' favor. Thanks to the release of Apple TV, there is a whole new ecosystem for television delivery. This is going to lead for all kinds of new content consumption, free from the limitations of big cable contracts. While Apple may have struck a blow against big cable, it is not alone in its fight for dominance in the tech world. Success breeds competition, and there are a few mobile devices that are considered more successful than the iPad. Samsung and Toshiba have unveiled their own droid-friendly tablet products, which are designed to rival, rival the iPad. Samsung's Galaxy Tab has the benefit of being more compact and lightweight, and the Toshiba Folio 100 is rumored to have a more appealing price point. Other competitors waiting in the corridors, like Microsoft, Hewlett Packard, and LG Electronics, may be revealing their own tablet models in short order. But Apple is well prepared for battle. It has set up a website dedicated to its, its as-of-yet released iPad mobile operating system, the iOS 4.2. Sometimes, I think Apple has a crystal ball or something, and Twitter seems to have one too. Twitter got a popularity boost last week when Facebook was down. Like rats from a sinking ship, Facebook users fled to Twitter to express their frustration with the other social media outlet. Twitter is coping with its newly cemented status by enrolling several improvements. Firstly, it has incorporated a new app authenticating service. For some apps to run on Twitter, users must first give their approval. Secondly, Twitter is enrolling a new URL wrapping feature, which shortens URL links and makes them less obscure-seeming. I suspect more changes are coming, especially if Twitter wants to maintain its lofty perch. So that's all for today. For all the latest news in the communications world, visit TMCNet.com. I'm Erin Monda with the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching.